Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your second week of October reading start from the 8th through the 14th of October 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Pisces. So let's see what is coming up for my fishes for this uh, week time starting tomorrow. And now uh, while I shuffle the cards, uh, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings and you can also check out my sister's tarot channel as well i will be adding the link to her channel in the comment section if you like it you can always become a part of her youtube family as well and um yeah when it comes to this reading i will be adding oracle cards but no charms will be added so yep stay tuned let's see what is coming for my fishies for this week time let's begin eight of pentacles Seven of Wands. You're tired of working towards something and you are giving up on it. Not giving up on what you have been working towards. You are giving up on working on it. Um, and I feel like, you know, why you are doing so? Because uh, you have already started seeing the results around it. Whatever it is that you have been working towards. Um, if you have been using law of attraction techniques, I think you are going to slow down your pace now because you have already started seeing the results around it. So you feel like maybe I don't need to do that anymore. Um, whatever you wanted, you are getting it. And that's why you are, you know, it's, it's, uh, you stop putting effort once you get what you want. That's, that's your energy right now. Whatever you have been working towards, you are getting that now. And you don't feel like putting more effort into it because you already got it. So let's see more cards here. The fool, Yeah. Whatever it was that you were working towards, you get it around the mid of the um, week time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, since this is for 8th through 14th, so maybe around the 10th, 11th, um, not 10th, but 11th, 12th would be the date. Uh, when you are going to start feeling the need to stop putting your more effort into it because you have already got it. it it's that energy. You are happy, you are excited because you are seeing the results of whatever you have been working towards, manifesting, using law of attraction, affirmation, scripting and all those things. And now it's time for you to take some break for, for yourself and wait for things to happen. It's, it's just that um, you know that the growth that you were working towards, you got it. So it's, it's more like, you know, you, you wanted it and you got it and now you are just like relaxing enjoying this phase of your life where you are, you know, you know that something good is happening and uh, um, you just need to relax. You are getting the fruit of your labor now, especially around the mid of the week time. Let's take more cards. Ta-da! Happiness is all around you as you move. You know, the mid onwards is going to be the blessed time for you because um, you are just, you know, uh, harvesting your your you know the it's, it's going to be the harvest time for you for all the um you know labor that you did in manifesting it it's like you know it's it's time for you to get all the bulks of it you are happy excited um for some of you i feel like you, know, you will be sharing some sort of good news with someone close to you um like siblings is what i'm picking up more than anything else uh, around a person, around a situation that you have been working towards, um, which I believe is definitely in your love life. Let's take more cards here. The tower. It's going to be like, um, for some of you, you might be getting engaged. It's going to happen like out of nowhere. Um, maybe you are going to get proposed. Maybe you are like, you know, you are getting what you wanted um, around, you know, that situation where you might have been waiting for reconciliation. Maybe the reconciliation is going to happen for some of you. If it was a, you know, engagement that you were looking for and if you are trying to co-create that, it's going to be that. If you have been trying to manifest a new person in your life, it's going to be that. So there is some sort of celebration and it's all going to happen out of nowhere. It's going to be such a surprise for the people who you are going to share the good news with. I feel like, you know, you have kept it all secret from, from your friends and family, whatever you were working towards. And that's what intensified the energy of manifestation. You have to keep it secret. Don't share it until unless you get it. And that's exactly what my fishes are doing and which is why they are happy, excited and, um, you know, enjoying 
the blissful time with the with the friends and family sharing the good news with them because they got what they wanted so let's take two more cards here four of swords five of wands you you didn't want any drama around it and that's how you um chose to avoid it by keeping it to yourself letting people talk 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 uh you know if you have been single for quite some time maybe you have people around you who used to talk uh you know like uh around your love life for some reasons and if that has been the case you are just chilling and relaxing you didn't want to have any um you know it's it's um it's more of the time when you when you um isolated your yourself and it's it's like you know you are celebrating all the times that it's it's more like you know the, this these energies is what you have invested into it to get what you wanted uh you isolated yourself you ignored what others told you um you followed your heart you followed your god and this is what you're celebrating now for some of you if you are still there where you are like you know uh trying to make things happen because it's like you know different fishes are on the different paths in their life if you are one of them who is still going through the struggling phase where you are still trying to put some effort make sure two things you don't share what you are trying to manifest two don't listen to the crap of people uh, telling you to do this and that just isolate yourself from such people who don't support your dreams and desires and goals and do the things and let the the let the outcome talk for you or for whatever you are if you whatever effort that you are putting into it to have what you want so this is the time when you're shining and people are like oh my god you know it was such a surprise and um yeah let's take one last card here ta da for some of you you might have to you know uh, go alone on this journey but it was worth it and uh you are getting all what you wanted and in the deck we do have page of wands and read that the sun and read that eight of swords and read that the emperor it seems like you know um now there is no block now there is no uh um i feel like you know the the hold on let me take one card for the eight of swords energy here the moon okay um the only thing i would suggest you to be uh, you know avoiding right now is uh even though you have received what you wanted but yes there are still chances that you know sometimes you get over obsessed with someone with something don't let that happen and just know one thing whatever you got it's all yours nobody in the world can snatch it away nothing can happen now you have it and that's it so don't let any negative fear mindset uh you know sway you away from the 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 thing and again maybe for some of you this this energy could be coming from the people around you like you know even though you got it maybe they are kind of uh, feeding you with negative uh, mindset like you know maybe you know this is so good to be true you should uh, you know do this and that they are trying to make you fearful around it if that's the situation cut these people off your life isolate yourself from these people don't let them stress you or add any stress to your life just cut them off you need to cut these people out of your life because whoever it is that you have manifested this is the one that you always wanted to have you wanted them you got them and that's how it is happening and it's it's like again people are maybe jealous or something around those lines but yes don't listen to them and just know that um you got them whoever it is that you wanted so yep let's take oracle cards now let's see what the oracle has to add to the reading Um I was suggest you to protect your relationship uh from evil life from um uh people who have bad intentions for you because they are not going to get happy seeing you happy. Uh and that could be the only maybe block for some of you not not block but yes they can influence uh your mindset. Uh with the with the any sort of evil energies towards you especially if you if and when you know you are manifesting it don't share it out once you have done that obviously they're going to get to know then protect your connection with the specific someone so they don't uh, uh you know you don't allow them to interfere in your energy or the energy of the connection that you are having with the specific someone in your love life let's see appreciate this moment every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love number 33 
I feel like you know you are pampering yourself a lot during this week time. You are appreciating every moment of your life now, and you are very positive in in your mindset. You are taking every situation like an opportunity to grow and find more love from this one person, one situation. And that's your attitude towards life. You are you are so happy and focused on what you want. You are not letting, you know, negativity sway you away from that. You are just so happy and uh, grateful. Let's see one more card here. Prayer. Your prayers are answered for sure. For those of you who know how to use this lemon uh, protection, you can do that if you know. Um, to to you know to to kick out the negativity from from your place from your relationship. So just do that. And if you don't know, you can purchase my service. I will guide you through. But yep. Yes. Drink a lot of water, especially if you are still in the process where you are trying to make it happen, trying to manifest it. And your prayers are going to get answered. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for my fishies for this week time. If the reading resonates with you to like, subscribe and share. If you are willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys, take care. Bye-bye.